Have you ever wondered what would happen if you combined this with this? You just might get something that runs by itself. In this video, I'll show you how to build it from scratch to full automation. Hello, I am Raya and I have been a solidarity developer for five years. Now for the past few months, I tried to create this button, but my attempts were unsuccessful and I only wasted money and time. But then I turned to AI for help and my results changed dramatically. First, I asked ChatGPT for exactly what I needed. The secret is how you phrase the prompt. If you just say, make me a code, you'll get random results. If you explain what the script should do and where it will run, you'll get clean working code. I typed in my request, hit enter, and just a few seconds later, I had a clean working script. In simple terms, this script is built using some of the most popular and effective techniques that developers commonly use for this kind of task. You can see a step-by-step -step breakdown of how it works on the screen right now. Now do this, create a new file and only then copy and paste the script into it. The exact script is linked in the video description. You can use it. The script is fully commented to explain what each section does and what it needs. Follow my steps exactly. Matching my settings helps you avoid common setup errors. At the very top, check the version number. It must match the version on your target platform. If it doesn't match, change it manually. Don't forget to tick the optimization box I show on screen. It improves how the script runs. When you see a green check mark on the left, your configuration is correct. Now, connect the extension. Click where I show, then click again, choose your extension from the list and confirm. Hit connect when prompted. If everything works, your account info will appear. Click the orange button, confirm and move on. Confirm once more and wait for a green check mark in the console. That means the script has been uploaded to the cloud successfully. There are only two functions available, keeping things simple. Now copy the address I show and compare the two addresses on screen. They must match. That confirms you alone have full, unrestricted control. Click to copy as shown. We're at the most important part. Prepare everything for a successful launch, so the script has something to work with. You will see recommendations on the screen. Simply follow them. Remember, this directly affects the effectiveness of this script. Paste the required amount and confirm the operation. Refresh the page to pull in the latest info. All good? Then press start and confirm. Double check that the start function ran. It should appear both in the console log and in the interface.
I let the script run for about 11 hours. The results matched up with my expectations. Remember, this happens live. Outcomes can vary with network traffic and other real-time factors. Some fluctuation is normal, so I let it run a few more hours to rule out a fluke. Now the results look consistent. You can see a complete list of operations the script executed, with timestamps. That means it did its job as expected. Based on my testing, the code ran without bugs or errors. To stop it, click Stop, Confirm, and the script will shut down. Refresh the page again to double check. Everything should look fine. If you lose the interface after a long pause, don't panic. Follow the on-screen instructions to reconnect. If you get stuck, reach out to me. I'm happy to help. This video is for educational purposes. It demonstrates how ChatGPT and open APIs can be used to build and test practical scripts. If you want to try the same experiment, message me. I can walk you through it or help troubleshoot. If this was helpful, like and subscribe. And tell me what you'd like to see next. Remember, you can always find all the links and instructions you need in the text guide, which I have linked to in the description.